Hey kids, this is Mr. Cozy and we're looking at, at video number 17, which is multiplying, dividing, adding, and subtracting rational expressions. Now, uh, we're, we are going to do adding and sub subtracting over a couple of, of days um, because remember, uh, rational expressions are, are fractions and when you add and subtract fractions you need a common denominator so t today we'll we'll on only look at the situation where we we already have a common denominator and uh, tomorrow we'll look at how to get a common de denominator if you don't have one so that's the plan let's get started um, remember, review, if I'm multiplying fractions, I can multiply fractions how I want to, um, five, four, three, two, one. Review, when I'm multiplying fractions, uh, it's a lot easier to multiply fractions than add or subtract them because I can literally go straight across and multiply. So 2 times 1 is 2, and, and 5 ti times 3 is, is 15. We love mul multiplying fractions because it's, it's a lot easier than um, adding and subtracting them. So if I have two rational x expressions, x plus 3 times, or I'm um, over x minus 2, times x squared minus 2x over x minus 1. Okay, I can just multiply these straight across. Now, the tip that I gave you yesterday is to factor everything as, as much as possible. So let's do that. Be, before multiplying because it will make our our life easier when we when we cancel or reduce our result so uh, x plus 3 is already factored x minus 2 is already factored x squared m minus 2x has a GCF in it so I can factor out that x okay the, the reason why I want to factor is it makes the act of multiplying a lot easier because uh, to, to multiply these out, I can really just write the factors next to each other. Okay, Maybe later I'll want to, to FOIL, but for the moment, it's just, I mean, here we go. Here's, here's our, our answer. Now, we, we aren't done yet. Because if you notice, I have x minus 2 in the numerator and x minus 2 in the denominator, so I can cancel those out. That's going to give me x times x plus 3 over x minus 1. Now, if, if you needed to, uh, you, you could multiply this out further and, and get x squared plus 3x over x minus 1. Um, I'm perfectly satisfied with this answer though. This this is a very, th that's a great answer as far as I'm concerned. Um, another thing is uh, you don't have to wait until after you have have multiplied to, to cancel. Remember that when we are multiplying we can cross cancel. So I could have canceled way over here and then avoided this step and kind of gone right to the answer okay um so so yeah so yeah multiplying is 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 great you want to factor what you can and then multiply and cancel okay now remember that when we divide dividing fractions is exactly like multiplying them it, it's just you 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 flip the fraction that you're 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 dividing by and you multiply so if we look at x squared minus x over x squared minus x minus 6 I'm I'm sorry this is x squared um, minus 1 uh, divided by um, x squared minus x minus 2 over x minus 3 okay um, I've got a lot 
each factor, but before I do that, when when you divide a, a fraction, you flip the fraction that you are dividing by and you multiply. Okay? So so ha, 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 having done that, now I should factor. This is going to be uh, x plus 1, x minus 1 over uh, x minus 3 and x plus 2. And then this is going to be multiplied by x minus 3 over uh, this is going to be x minus 2 and x plus 1. And you see that I do have some opportunities to cross cancel. I have an x minus or x plus one in the in the numerator and denominator. I have an x minus three in the numerator and the denominator. So my answer is going to be x minus one over x plus two times x minus two. And if if I I wanted to multiply this out more, I could, but I'm perfectly satisfied with this answer. Okay, so multiplying, just you, you want to factor, multiply straight across and cancel. If you're dividing, remember that dividing is flipping and multiplying, and then you're multiplying. So you factor, you cancel, you multiply. Okay? Let's talk about adding and subtracting. Um, now we're only going to look at at, at the case where we al al already have a common denominator. If we don't have a common denominator, we have to work a, a little bit harder to get our our answer. So let's let's start out on, on, only looking at having a common de de denominator. These are, are are the same. Now we're remember that when you add and subtract you need a common denominator and once you 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 have it you can just copy that into your answer okay so and that's 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 why because these are are the same i can just copy the, these into the answer okay in my numerator I add or subtract whatever is in the numerator and I just do it normally. So I would have 3x minus 8 plus negative x minus 6. Okay, I, I just add or, or sub, subtract what, whatever's up here normally. Um, collecting like terms, I'm going to have uh, 2x minus 14 over x squared minus 7x. Now guys, if you remember, if if you notice, I held off on, on factoring. Adding and sub, subtracting is, is one of those situations where it isn't always advantageous to factor everything starting out. Um, tomorrow, I'll modify that a little bit, but for the moment, um, factoring right out of the the gate, it um, it may not be the best move, especially in the numerator, because um, it would be harder to to add these together if we had of other factors and multiplying floating around. So my recommendation is that hold off on factoring numerators. when you are adding and subtracting. In the denominators, sure, go ahead and, and factor, but you you could also hold off on that um, if you don't have to, to find a, a common de denominator, and, and here we already ha have one. Okay, but especially hold off on on factoring in the numerator. The, the reason why is when you're done, this is the time to factor and to cancel. Okay, I have a GCF of 2 in my numerator. I have a GCF of X in my denominator. And if you notice, ooh, I, I, I can cancel that X minus 7 and 2 over X is my answer. 
Okay, so hold off on factoring um, and canceling until you're done, especially in the numerator. In the denominator, um, it's it's kind of it it doesn't hurt you if you factor early in the denominator, but don't do it in the numerator. Okay, um, let's look at one more quick example. Let's look at x over x plus one minus 2x uh, plus 3 over x plus 1. Okay, a uh, common de denominator, I can copy that over and then I subtract my numerator. So this is going to be x minus 2x plus 3. Notice that because I am subtracting this, I've, I've got to flip signs and, and, and add. So this, this becomes negative 2x minus 3 and this becomes a plus. Okay, If you're subtracting, don't forget to flip signs and add. All right? Okay, I've thrown in enough information at you today. Uh, we'll stop here. Have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.